And I managed to drain the battery of my camera. Um, yeah, before the hike even started. So, back to the good old safety net phone. Good morning. Today, we are hiking Garden of the Gods. It has taken me so long to find this parking spot. Um, on all trails. The trailhead was improperly marked and so uh, I had to do it the old-fashioned way and look at an actual map. So we're finally here after many false starts. I probably circled the park like three times and I finally found the right place so we're, I'm pretty close to the trailhead so let's see where exactly it is. Hey there, like half a mile in and the view is already beautiful. Granted, you can still hear the cars below, but because um, within the park, you can actually only drive like, um, it's only a one lane road, so you can only drive in a loop, which is why it took me forever to find this parking spot because when I would mess up, I'd have to go the whole loop uh, again. But so yeah, the car traffic is not terrible. Um, but the views are already amazing. So yeah, and I'm already out of breath. But I mean, this weather is perfect. It's like 70 degrees and a light breeze. And I've got a lot of sunscreen on. So, oh man, so looking forward to this. And I'm so happy I managed to get this in before the storm. And I'm so glad the sky is actually pretty nice considering a storm is coming in like four hours three hours oh man yeah I need a food well actually no this is so yeah um, I better get going so then I am nowhere near the storm when it hits <laughs> impasse. I'm really not sure which way to go. Up until now the trails have been pretty obvious and uh, yeah. Mm. Maybe somewhere that way? Okay, never mind. I looked at the all trails map again and I think it's that way. It's straight forward on a bunch of rocks. I've got to say though, um, you do get cell signal down here, which is great, so I'm able to follow all trails without having to download the map. I should probably get the Pro at some point this year. Um, for now, I'm using the free version, and it works um, on this trail here. So, on the cabin trail part of this loop... <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. <sighs> uh, it's actually, it turns out, it's actually easier to find the trail because anywhere you walk, you should find like these steps pretty nearby. So, yeah, you shouldn't be able to get lost. Yeah, so look for these steps. So even in that um, rock area um, where it wasn't really obvious where the trail was, uh, you just look like 10 feet away and you will notice stairs. So, again stairs are your best friend on this trail. This is really nice. I've only bumped into like three people. Um, it seems like there's just so many trails in this park that everybody's off doing their own thing. So it's really easy to avoid people. Uh, and I will say like this trailhead is way f uh, further off from the uh, the main entrance uh, 
well actually there's only one entrance, so the entrance, um, which is near the uh, visitor center. Sorry, I have hiking brain right now. And yes, hiking brain is a thing. It is when I lose my train of thought because I'm too preoccupied, not slipping on rocks, tripping over logs, roots, oh not logs, <laughs> over roots, and uh, just overall breathing hard from physical exertion. And I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, not a lot of people on this trail, because most people are probably on the trails closer to the entrance. So yeah, it's very nice. It's easy to socially distance. Okay, time to look at my map because I'm in a fork in the road. That way or that way? I think it's that way. Hey. Never mind, picked the wrong way. It's this way. Siamese Twins Trail. Let's go. More stairs. So also, just be sure to note all of these signs. Um, a lot of these were, I'm guessing, uh, little creeks for when like snow melted or something. But yeah, it's all dried up now. Um, but yeah, I've seen a lot of places where it looks like there used to be a creek running through, but yeah, all dry. But still, not allowed to hike or climb. So be mindful of the signs. Whoops! I think I went the wrong way. But I don't really mind it. Look at that. <laughs> I found myself a uh, nice little backpack holder. Totally taken the wrong way, but I kind of spot a trail, so at least it's leading me to the right overlook point. <laughs> uh, I have no idea how I ended up on the wrong side of the fence. <laughs> okay, let's go to the Siamese twins. <laughs> My goodness. And talking to yourself on video is even more embarrassing. Which is why I put my phone away immediately. <laughs> Two seconds ago. Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully I don't look too awkward in at least one of those shots. I also, I don't know. Ah, ah. You know what? People do it every day. If I need to look goofy to, uh, I don't know, boost my comfort level of cringe, cringe, cringe worthy stuff, then so be it. That's, I mean, I don't really have another choice because I go on all these adventures alone. So I just need to get used to it or else I will have exactly zero photos or videos of me doing all this cool stuff. And like photos of landscapes is great, but you know, I like to be in it too, or else it just looks like a stock photo. <laughs> Actually, today is a very nice weather for hiking. Um, the sun here, you know, the sun in Colorado is just, it just feels hotter. Um, you know, this is beautiful. Um, next time I need to bring more water. 
Yeah, and probably a hydration pack. Yep. Alright, home stretch. I think like less than half a mile left. Let's go. Push. 